What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. We are going to do part two out of this three part series of videos for today. As you guys already saw, we moved the grow out albino bosmanis into their pup tanks and now we are ready to catch the newborn pups. I forgot to give everyone an update again on the big mama albino bows. Check her out right there. Absolutely insane. Insane. Just looking at that fish every day just really makes my day. Sometimes when I have a bad day and I need a lift up, that's what I do. I just go sit down. I got my little chair right here and I just roll up in front of that tank and just watch her for a few minutes and just brightens my day. All right, but anyways, let's go grab Oi, and um, she gonna have to take over. Hey, you guys ready? Oh, I mean, not you guys, but Oi, you ready? Look at these two. That's what they do when there's no school. All right, anyways, let's go, Oi. We got some fish to catch. There you go. We're gonna get ready and start catching these guys um let's start right this here one. show them this one show them this one okay we're gonna catch all the brown ones first there we go okay and you can kind of see some pattern on them they're still young a little bit pale and it's a male okay so out of the albino fish remember we got two females so far and i really really need a male so let's see if we're gonna get oh, no. just, if we're gonna get any males today this one's pretty big Oop. big mama it got a little bit scared Right, there we go. Come on, come on up, come on up. Okay. Sorry guys if I'm not uh, saying too much. I'm just really focused on, on these fish right now. Oh, really good. I know. You, you can even tell as a baby, their color is different from a lot of the other babies that we have born here. And, I mean, that's just part of the territory when we're talking about Bosmanis. Their color is just different and unique. All right, this one is a female. And this one's pretty big and a huge belly too. Okay. Wait, no. Got one more. Hey, look. There's two albinos, Oi. You thought there was only one. No. Right, we will talk more about this batch after we are done catching these fish. Over here. Okay, this one looks a little bit different from the others. You can see more uniform spotting on it. And it's a male. So we got two males and one female head. There's another one here, all right? There's three. You know what? Check it out. Let me show everyone real quick. We got one albino, two albinos, mother, and three and four. So, this is a very, very successful and productive batch. Okay. Unlike the previous two batches, I think uh, we had four and four each time, and one of them was albino out of the four. And we talked about the statistical outcomes of uh, the albinos when we're breeding het to het, right? Which made sense before. But now, with four albinos coming out, out of seven babies, it's That's over. Oh, relax. All right, let me give you some more water. Okay. So now, 
four out of seven pups is albino. And look at that. At this age, look, you see that yellow mm. along the tail and around the body. Really nice color. But so the ratio this time is really good. And I'm quite happy. What is it? What is it? It's a female. It's a female. Oh. What? Okay, so we got a female. But we have three more to go. So come on, I gotta get at least two males out of this. I, that's what I want. I want at least two males out of this. For all you guys at home watching, I hope you guys are cheering me on. I really, really need a couple of males. And given that this is such a big litter of albinos. All right, let me show you guys real quick. But they all pretty much look like mirror images of each other at this point. You can't really see any pattern. You see very little bit if you look closely. But you do see like kind of that, that, that glow of the color. What is it? Hello, don't make that face. Yeah, look yourself. Oh. It's a female. It's a female. Yeah. I, I don't know what is going on here. I still have two more. Yes. Kind of the luck is not on my side. I'm getting all females, which typically any oh. breeder would be really happy to get all females. But in this situation, I really, really do need a couple of males. You know, I'm glad that the first few were females. Okay, but now that you know, we already achieved that. We need some males. Now I can tell already. This one, whoa. Whoa. The mother got scared. That's why we gotta be careful. I don't know why she's freaking out. I don't know if the camera shows it, but in this one, you can see the yellow spots. Yeah. All around the fish, whereas the previous couple, you didn't see it. Uh, you see it all around the edge? Yeah. So this one has a pretty nice pattern male male holy cow oops it's the female it's a female again what is going on here guys i can't catch a break it's all females i need i need a male i really really can't understand Wait, what one. is going on here? She's all in the corner over here. Let me move it out slowly. Oh, don't go into the basket. So guys, this is one of the problems with having a basket. It just gets in your way. And now... Under there. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, got scared. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. I can't see it. Where is it? All the way back. On that side. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is my last shot at getting a male, or at least with this batch. And if it if it, if it ends up being a female, also. That means I've gotten a consecutive six albino females, which is definitely unheard of for me. Across three batches, all the albinos born were females, which is ridiculous. So come on, guys. You know what? I should just jump off a building right now. Did you show them? Yeah. <laughs> what is going on here, guys? It's all female. I have four today, and I couldn't even get one male. And I was optimistically hoping that I would get two. This is just absolutely ridiculous. It kind of hurts my breeding program. All right, go ahead. Show them real quick first before I talk more. Man, look at that color. It's just amazing all right anyways i really don't understand what's going on here it's so important for me to have 
Mm. Oh, excuse me. It's so important for me to have both sexes, right, for a breeding project. And now, from the original mother that I have is female, and all her offspring are females, I'm just not catching a break here. Unbelievable. So now I gotta wait for their next batch to hope for a male. And time-wise, it kind of does set me back because these fish have to grow and mature, right? So now I gotta wait another four months for the next batch and hopefully get a male. And then if I do get a male, then they have to grow up and mature as well before I can do anything with it. So this project has now gotten dragged out even longer in the absence of having some male pups. I do have male heads, right? But what I really want is the male albino, all right? Well, that's it for today's episode. And um, thank you again for joining us and sharing such a momentous occasion with us. Stay tuned because this day is not over. This day is a three-part series. And we are gonna now move on to the next part, which are the Black Diamond Hybrid Pups that were born that I gave you a quick preview of in the first episode of this three-part series. So, oi, let's head over there and catch those. But I will see you guys in the next episode, all right? Take care.